I'm getting dressed to go to campus. Recently, I started wearing a belt. I used to be a size 30 waist, but I've been doing so much cardio that I'm down to 28 now. So I need a belt to keep my pants up. Today's Friday, and usually I'm at the gym at this time. But since I have to be on campus this morning, I have to make breakfast and leave. So I'm making a smoothie. A lot of times I time myself while I do this. Ideally, I like to finish breakfast at least half an hour after I wake up. Breakfast can take a while, but I like to have a goal in the back of my head. Now I'm off to brush my teeth. I have this electric toothbrush, and it times you so you brush your teeth for two minutes exactly. It's really nice. My hair is getting a little long, so I have to wear pomade today. Now I pack my stuff. Usually, I only pack my iPad and my laptop. But today I'm also packing my headphones. They don't work so well anymore, so I don't use them as often. But they're noise canceling, and that's really convenient. And lastly, I put on my watch. It's a cold day today, so I'm wearing a sweater. My apartment has this really cool projector. There's always this octopus swimming around. I live next to an old cemetery. The third president of Harvard is buried here. So was the president of the United States. It's kind of exciting. Here's John Hancock. I walk by him every day. And here's an old church. My train's here. I just got to Harvard Square. It's an old station, but feels like home. I always like to walk through one of the gates when I get on campus. This one's my favorite. I have a route that I follow on my way to the physics building. It's really nice during the fall. All the trees are orange. And here's Johnny Harvard. He sits under an American flag. I got here early, so I'm going to Widener for a bit. This library is really historic. It was built in honor of a guy who sank with the Titanic. And just before he died, he told his mom to donate all his books to Harvard. He had a lot, about 3,000. I like coming here in the mornings because there's nobody around. I like empty libraries. And I'll sit in the back because I get a great view. Something about the ceiling helps me focus. Today I'm reading a really old but really famous paper. It tells you about how fast information is allowed to spread. And the guy who wrote it actually came to visit Harvard a few months ago. He's good friends with my advisor. We all celebrated his birthday and we had a big dinner. The guy who wrote this paper is really interesting. And he actually had an FBI record. That's not very common for a physicist. After reading this paper, I started to revise this job application for one of my collaborators. And I want him to get the job. So I'm spending a lot of time on this. Mostly I'm just revising grammar. It's almost 10.30 so I have to get the section. I don't usually have sections on Fridays. But I have to fill in for another TF today. It's alright though. I'm starting to like teaching more and more. The kids in class are really funny, so I like showing up. You get the best view of campus when you walk out of the library. It's kind of relaxing, and it's really scenic. Walking through campus kind of helps you think sometimes. I just finished section, and I'm wiping down the boards. Today we covered Faraday's Law. 
basically something about magnets. We had a small section today, but I like that. It makes it easier to talk to everybody. Now it's lunchtime. Usually I bring my own food, but I didn't cook last night, so I'm going to Harvard Square. I used to go to Harvard Square three times a week to buy Tasty Burger. And it was good, but I gained so much weight. So I started cooking every day and exercising. And I dropped 30 pounds. And after that, I swore I would never eat Tasty Burger again. So every time I walk by it, it feels like a victory. So today I'm getting ramen. It's this restaurant called Santoka. It's pretty good. It's a nice day out, so I'm eating outside of the Smith Center. This is a popular spot for chess hustlers. They're really good. A lot of people stop by to watch them beat the Harvard kids. I'm bad at chess, so I never bother. Now I'm walking back to campus to get some more work done. I like all the old trees in the yard. When I finally buy a house, I want to plant an oak tree in my front yard. I like the idea of having to grow up with my kids, whenever I have them. I figure it'd be pretty big when I'm an old man. This is the law school lawn. They have some nice trees too. It's interesting to sit down here, because you get to watch all these future lawyers walk around. I always used to see one of the law professors walk his dog around the lawn. He always had a nice suit and he had a golden retriever. This guy looked like he made it. And I would also see this other professor walk his Dalmatian. I liked it. It seemed like a nice dog. And ever since then, I've wanted my own Dalmatian. Maybe I'll get it when I plant my tree. Right now, I'm revising this paper for this kid in my research group. He wrote it on something called random matrix product states. He proved that these states have some special properties. It's exciting. Now I'm walking back to my office to work on a presentation. I'm giving a talk about my research. And I have to explain it in a way that's easy to understand. It took a little time, but I think I got it down. Basically, my research is about moving dots. Every dot is just a matrix. And every color dot is a special matrix. And the process that I study basically tells you how to color in as much dots as you can. But there's rules you have to follow. And my research involves finding out those rules. It's almost like playing a game. Every year the physics department has a pumpkin drop. We do this to verify the law of gravity. Basically, things fall towards the earth. So once a year we all watch as students throw pumpkins out of a window. It's a big tradition for us. And afterwards we add some pizza. Now I'm on my way home but I want to make a stop at the bookstore before I get on the train. Recently, I've been thinking about writing a children's book. It's about a kid who likes to race, but he's not very fast. So he spends all his time running until he's the fastest kid around. I don't know much about children's books, so I'm stopping by the Harvard bookstore to get some ideas. I just want to see some drawings. I like to draw, but I've never drawn cartoons. So I need some pointers. I found a good one. This one's about a boy who wants to kiss a girl. She tells him that he has to give her the moon first. But this kid was slick and he figured out how to do it. He just put some water in the bucket and he caught the reflection. It made me laugh. Whatever I end up writing, I hope it can make some kid out there laugh too.